Hi, I'm Linda. I'm Ed. The, the Dream Team. Team. Today we're talking about how to go from having bad credit to good credit or how to go from having good credit to even better credit. So before we continue, we want you to subscribe, hit that bell, therefore we can keep giving you this information. Absolutely. And this is important to anybody that's thinking of getting a, a mortgage loan or a car loan. You want to get the best rates um, possible. And in order to do that, you need to have good credit. So stay tuned to the end because there's a fourth thing that can be done that many people don't know about. But we want to make sure we share that with you so that you know if you're in that situation, you can ask for it. Yes. So number one, pay your bills on time. You know, sometimes we forget to pay our bills. We have the money, mm -hmm. but you know, we just forget. Mm -hmm. So what we could do, we can use bill pay. Mm -hmm. It would even remind us when it's time to pay our bills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. The second thing is in pay your bills, um, if it's a monthly bill, pay it every two weeks. If you get paid every two weeks, pay your bill every two weeks. For example, if you have a, uh, a $400 car note, if you pay that car note 200 this week, 200 in two more weeks, and then 200 again in another two weeks, it's gonna do two things. One, you're not gonna be late on that bill. And then secondly, it's gonna help you pay it off a little bit quicker than usual. So pay it every two weeks. It might mean that you need to rearrange your other bills so that you have the money to pay that and still pay your other bills each month. Um, but rearrange it and pay it uh, every two weeks, you'll pay that debt down quicker. And start with the smallest bills first. Therefore, you can pay it off, and then that will keep you motivated. But if you start with the biggest bill and it's not moving fast enough, you can become discouraged. Yeah, exactly. And, and what we mean by that is, for example, if you have a $600 um, credit card and then you have one, a $1,200 credit card, and you have two car notes, um, then start with the $600. Um, bill. That way, you see it's $35 a month. If you pay that, like we said before, every two weeks, put a couple dollars with it and make it a $50 a month payment. Pay $25 this week, $25 the next week. You pay $50 a month on that bill. That $600 bill is going to disappear before you know it. Then you'll be able to take that $35 and you'll put it with the next credit card payment of $65. Now you're paying at least $100 a month on the second credit card bill. You're going to pay that off in no time. You see how your debt just starts to disappear. So true. You have to be systematic though, and you have to pay it regularly in order to see that happen. Absolutely. And so remember that special gem we told you about? Got to tell that gym. We do. Yes. Well, you know, if you pay off a bill, most know you can write into the three credit bureaus and um, in 30 to 60 days, they'll take that off your credit. Most people know that you can do that. Right. But now here's the gym. Yes. If you are thinking of or in the process of getting a mortgage because you're tired of paying rent, you're, you're tired of paying yeah. somebody else's um, <laughs> uh, mortgage. Now you want your own so that you can have, you know, the freedom. Uh, to do what you need to with your time and not worry about your rent being raised. If you're in that position and you're ready to get your own home, then let's say you have a 715 score, okay? If you're 720 or above, that puts you in a whole nother bracket, you can get a better interest rate. Yes. You're already gonna pay off a couple bills. And so now you tell your lender, hey, I'm gonna pay off a couple bills and um, I want to get my score you know, um, raised they can do what's called a rapid rescore, okay? Instead of waiting 30 to 60 days for your credit to be raised, uh, your, your credit score to be raised, they can raise that score in a matter of days. That's right, a matter of days. They can raise your credit score. Now, only a lender can do this, and it does cost them a little money, 20 to $40 per, per item, however, it's a benefit to you. If you go from a 715 to 725, you're gonna get a better interest rate. It's gonna open the door to more products that's going to be to your benefit. So ask them. They, they're not going to volunteer the information to you. I can tell you that. I used to be a loan officer. Yeah. You know, but you can ask them about a rapid rescore so that you can get a better interest rate. So that's our little nugget we wanna share with you. So don't forget, to subscribe mm -hmm. and ring that, that bell 
so we can keep bringing good content to you, usable content for everyday life. Thanks. Yes. Ta-ta.